Welcome, this is segment two, um, uh, helping people with pornography. And this is about how pornography works. We have to understand the dynamics behind pornography, how it works. And I, I have a couple of videos to show you here. Okay, number one point that I wanna make, why is pornography so um, drawing to people? According to uh, a psychiatrist, um, psychologist Al Cooper, he says there are three words that make pornography very, very uh, uh, attractive, okay? Anonymity, okay? Accessibility and affordability. Uh, anonymity, today, before in the 50s, you needed to go to a video store to get pornographic videos. Um, and you have to buy it from a magazine stand. So you have to show up in person. Guess what? Today, it goes straight into our phones that we carry every day, or it goes straight into our bedrooms. So you can hide it from people. People would never know. Uh, so that's the anonymity there. The accessibility is the same thing. It's so accessible. Like I said just a few seconds ago, it, it, you can easily get it online, on your phone, on your computer. And affordability. Uh, I don't know if you know, but pornogra pornographic site, they have a lot of free materials. And as you get hooked into it, and you'll see that in a few minutes, as you get hooked into it, there are prices to, to get more and more and more. So most of their items are free in the beginning, and you can see that uh, on pornographic uh, sites everywhere, as well as also just on the promotional ads and, and all that. I wanna show a video here on um, how pornography uh, becomes addictive. Sexual tastes vary from person to person, but with the current pornography epidemic, as some call it, one has to wonder how exactly this may affect our desires and perception of sexuality. Moreover, how does it affect our sex lives? Pornography constitutes about 25% of all search engine requests and is the fourth most common reason people give for going on the internet. And while it may seem to simply facilitate an instinctual sexual response linked to millions of years of evolution, the truth is, pornography has dynamically changed over time, ultimately molding our tastes and desires. The not so shocking truth is that pornography has profound consequences for the brain and acts in many ways like a drug. With prolonged exposure, your tolerance is increased and many often find themselves addicted. Though it's not a physical substance, it leads to the same general loss of control, the compulsiveness to seek out the activity despite negative consequences and withdraw when it goes away, much like that of gambling or running, for example. The issue is that continued exposure can cause long-term or even lifelong neuroplastic change in the brain. Dopamine is released as a reward whenever we accomplish something, whether it be eating to sustain life or sexual activity to produce future life. And this dopamine consolidates neural connections in order to drive us to perform the same activity in the future. In other words, it alters and forms the brain cells to motivate certain actions. It rewires your brain. The National Institutes of Health measure drug addictiveness by testing rats. The rat is trained to press a button in order to get a drug, and the harder it works indicates how addictive the substance is. It turns out that the more addictive a drug is, the more dopamine we see released. And while there is, unfortunately, no rat porn that we can give to them, we do know that dopamine is also released during sexual excitement, which pornography plays right into. The more time you spend doing it, the more dopamine gets released, which reinforces the behavior and makes you not only desire it in the future, but require it. And as you begin to imagine these images away from the computer or while having sex, they become reinforced. Furthermore, each orgasm releases even more dopamine, which consolidates the connections made during the session. It's a feedback loop that becomes harder to escape. And just like a drug, your tolerance for visual stimulation has now compounded, making it more difficult to be turned on by reality. Pornography addiction can often lead to finding your mate less attractive. The good news is, it doesn't have to be permanent. Usually when people understand the mechanism and realize it's affecting their relationships, they can stop. The brain is often described as a use it or lose it system because the neural connections you stimulate grow stronger and desire to be activated, while the ones you ignore become weakened. Much like your muscles, which, if sitting still all day, itch for activity, but after prolonged non-use, they become complacent. Luckily, because of this use it or lose it brain, the same neuroplastic system that proliferates these habits can also be used to acquire healthier ones. Got a burning question you want answered? Ask it in the comments or on Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe for more weekly science videos. Go.
um, you can see that video how addicting pornography is and uh, the idea is dopamine again the, the dopamine um, um, uh, we take God has created us to have excitement and and dopamine is a reward for that excitement for example um, some of you are some of us are checklists we like checklists do you know that when you uh, accomplish a checklist God releases dopamines in our brain and or there's a release in our brain and we and then we get excited about it we feel a sense of accomplishment some people like to jump off planes and that's where they get their dopamine whatever it is but pornography is one of those dopamine items now I want to show here the the impact of dopamine okay here's some a couple of stats or graphs here you can see from this graph that when you eat a certain kind of when you eat food there's a dopamine release you're satisfied that's why we, we enjoy eating whatever it is burgers McDonald's uh, Burger King um, so there's a release even in sex there's a release of dopamine it's it's pleasurable it's enjoyable now here's what's interesting here's some uh, drugs that 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 people take and the dopamine that's released when you take these drugs, okay? Uh, narcotics, cocaine, uh, morphine. But look at the next stats. Look at this. These are the drugs and this is the porn. Look at the equivalence of dopamine that's released. It's the same amount as some of our dangerous drugs. That's why there's an organization, Fight the New Drug. Uh, yes. Uh, and it's all about an anti-porn um, 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 resource. And what I'm trying to say there is that uh, um, porn is like a drug. Uh, and, and this organization is saying that this is the new drug in our society. And men are getting caught up in it. And um, so look, look at this last uh, graph. It shows that dopamine um, is released. Uh, and porn when we when we encounter porn and also um, you you want you have that sensation to want more want more porn uh, because of dopamine and I'm going to show you another video here that really hammers that point okay watch this video How porn affects the brain. 1. When we experience very arousing stimuli like porn, the level of dopamine in our brains increases. This is new to our brain and begins the so-called Coolidge effect. We are drawn to this exciting new experience. Neurochemicals of pleasure in the brain react as we continue to engage the stimulus and overstimulate ourselves. This is when we go beyond normal activation of pleasure and neurochemicals can begin to damage patterns. Two. Once this overstimulation has been maintained, our brain adapts to a tolerance level. What once was overstimulation is then the new normal. In response to the same stimulus, the brain begins to produce fewer pleasurable neurochemicals, so more stimulus is needed to recreate the old pleasure sensation. 3. A third change in the brain is desensitization. Once the normal reward system of the brain is bombarded with high dopamine levels, it begins to shut down. The dopamine receiving neurons shut down their receptors to prevent overstimulation, but the sending neuron continues to send. The result is dopamine loss and also a failure to respond to dopamine. You feel lousy when this happens. It's difficult to feel pleasure. Unfortunately, the only thing that can release extra dopamine to make you feel good is increased porn use. The brain has an embedded trap. 4. There is also sensitization. This is the experience of the brain becoming familiar with what it expects to see. An analogy is thinking that you see your spouse or child whenever you see someone who resembles them vaguely your brain is looking for them. When porn is what your brain expects, you begin to see a sexualized filter in which the bodies of people begin to become sexual objects. It is very difficult to reverse the effects once your brain has been adapted in this way. As you can see from that video, we 
oh, dopamine causes you to want more and, and desire more and pursue harder things. You all of a sudden get satisfied uh, with this and, you go, and, and, and after that certain point, you're going to want the next level or another interest. That's why um, child pornography is growing. When, uh, it's, it's like the, the start of, uh, it starts when, porno, when we have basic pornography, then it leads to that because you always want to satisfy more and you become callous and want harder and more hardcore porn. Um, so this is the impact. I just want you to see the impact and how it works in our minds, in our hearts, and it, it, it causes us to, to be callous. And, um, and that's why I want you to be aware of that, the danger and how it works in your life and in my life. So join me in the next session.